Hey guys, it's Fox. I'm here today with another Aki Bento unboxing. But unlike usual, it's two Aki Bento unboxings and I'm gonna explain why. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy them. Anyway guys, um, for those of you that follow me on Twitter or Patreon, you guys know that I have been working at a Halloween haunt for basically the end of September into October and it's kind of been killing me slowly. <laughs> Just in the sense that it's very long hours every weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, in the cold, in costume, acting and screaming and whatever. And so I found that during the week, a lot of the times my voice wasn't 100%. You could still hear it a little like, not even or balanced. It's just kind of like all over the place. Um, or I would find myself sick and rushing to get better by the next weekend where I would have to do it all over again. So Aki Bento was really nice. I explained to them um, that I had lost my voice when the September box came in and they were like, oh, don't worry about it. Wait until the October box and you can unbox them both at the same time, which was very sweet of them. Um, a lot of companies wouldn't be that understanding. So I really appreciate that um, from them. So yeah, I've got two Aki Bento boxes to unbox for you. I know I've looked at these briefly. I don't remember a single thing because again, I've been exhausted, sick, and just so busy. So uh, let's open them and see what's inside and we'll go from there. Yeah, I don't remember this at all. But to start, this is September's box and it is Squad. And as you can see, it's Deku, Sailor Moon, and a lady with a sword. I don't, I don't know. So to start for the t-shirt, Okay, it is a Todoroki t-shirt from My Hero Academia. Uh, for those of you that know, Bakugo is my favorite character, if you couldn't tell by the hat. Um, but I do really like Shoto, or Todoroki, um, and this is cute. But yeah, it's cute, I love that it's it's a, a good character, and looks like a really, really cool like aesthetic, action pose, whatever. I like it. Good job on the t-shirt. So up next is Sailor Moon vinyl figure. So it's basically kind of exactly what it says on the box. You have the chance to get a bunch of different vinyl figures. I'm gonna open it. I know Leslie watches all my videos. So Leslie, if I remember to give this to you, this is yours. Cause you love Sailor Moon much more than I do. Sorry, I'm opening it. I wanna see if I can guess this. I think this is the green haired, like the short blue haired girl, green haired Pluto. Yeah! Is that Pluto? I think it's Pluto. But it's a cute little figure. She's got her arms out. She does have an imperfection on her face that looks like it's rubbing off. So maybe that's just residue from the bag. Otherwise, super, super cute. I like this style better than like pop figures, I guess. Although I guess it kind of looks like a miniature pop figure. I don't know, I like it though. That is very cute. Also, I have terrible luck with blind boxes, so. Moving on, we've got Wanted Aki Bento Puzzle Cube. On the back it says, this Aki Bento exclusive Rubik's Cube will challenge your mind. You won't be bored solving this cube when you have six awesome anime designs to look at as you solve it. So it's an anime Rubik's Cube. Okay, so obviously I know what this one is. That's one piece. I, I Sailor Moon, I'm not sure. But this is also like a galaxy. And this is swords? Listen, I wish you told me what the anime. Cool. <laughs> I have no idea what half of these symbolize. If you can tell me what these are, that'd be awesome. Guys, that's one piece for sure. I would think like my first initial reaction is Steven Universe, but that doesn't really count as anime. So I don't know. This is like a sword graveyard. This, I don't even know what this is. It's like a castle with like a red background. Uh, and then this star field. It's kind of cool. If you like Rubik's Cube, it's a cool take on like a traditional Rubik's Cube where it's not just colors, it's anime scenes. But I, like, I don't know, maybe I just can't figure it out. Maybe I'm just dumb. But 
I don't understand where the like what the anime scenes are except for like one or two. I think it would be much more interesting if like like how you have the One Piece symbol, the next side is the Konoha symbol, and then the next side is like a big Sailor Moon bow. You know what I mean? Like just something a little more obvious than a sword graveyard because I feel like that could be a lot of anime. <laughs> but maybe it's Sword Art Online. Maybe I'm crazy. Who knows? Next up is. Aki Bento exclusive necklace. The description on this is upside down, but I don't want to turn the box so you can actually see it. It says, become part of the crew by wearing this golden hat necklace. So, it is a one piece necklace. It's so hard to see these things, but it's a straw hat as a necklace. Hopefully you can see that. Like I, Necklaces are really hard to show off. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a straw hat. It's a straw hat for your finger, <laughs> basically. Um, oh my God, I'm never gonna get this necklace back in this case. So yeah, if you know me, I'm not a giant One Piece fan, but I do have a lot of friends who are really, really into One Piece, so this will definitely go to one of them, who I think will appreciate it much more than I do. I never got into One Piece. I don't really like the animation style, so I just never enjoyed watching it, but, Yay, anime necklaces! Oh, we've got the pin. We've got the Akibento pin. And it looks like Deku's fist using his quirk towards the edge of the button. Kind of cool. Not bad. Although, it's called the squad box. And it's just a picture of a fist. So I feel like they could have done something more squad-like. But... Definitely not the worst pin they've ever done, so I'll give it a pass. And, oh, we've got a sticker. Um, it is a Midoriya sticker, which is great. You could basically either get Midoriya or Suyu, which is awesome. I would have been happy with either, and I think this is cute. It looks like it's good quality. There is a price tag on it, which I think is interesting. You, it doesn't really need to focus, but you can see right here it has a barcode. So this sticker cost $2.99 USD. Um, they just didn't take off the price tag. Now the last item is a manga book. It is a Kamiga Kill, which uh, is awesome. It looks like it has an Akibento exclusive cover. So it says, Teenage country bumpkin Tatsumi dreams of earning enough money for his impoverished village by working in the capital. But his short-lived plans go awry when he's robbed by a buxom beauty upon arrival. Penniless, Tatsumi is taken in by the lovely Miss Arya. But just when his capital dreams seem to reach, seemed in reach yet again, Miss Arya's mansion is besieged by Night Raid, a team of ruthless assassins who target high-ranking members of the upper class. As Tatsumi is clicked quick to learn, I can't speak. Appearances can be deceiving in the capital, and this team of assassins must ju just might be the good guys. It sounds super cute, just flipping through it. Um, I like the art style, and some of the characters are super cute, so like maybe it'll be something I'm interested in cosplaying in the future if I get into it. Okay, so that was September's box. Let me put it all back in the box. <laughs> So we can move on to October's box. I know, we have another one. This is October's box upon first glance. It looks a little thin in here, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll give it a shot. The theme is monster, and it looks like it has Soul Eater, One Punch Man, and Tokyo Ghoul on the front. We'll start with the t-shirt. Uh, I kind of love it. It's kind of like a Starry Night Sky version of Soul Eater which is super cute. It's got uh, Maka standing on top of a telephone pole. That's, what I'm, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, holding her scythe and looking awesome. I love Soul Eater, so this is great. First up, we have a One Punch Man figure, or not a figure, it's a hanger, which I believe is just their way of saying like plastic keychain. Genos? Is that his name? I think it's Genos. This guy. Pretty cool. 
Uh, he has a pretty solid weight to him. The painting isn't anything like amazing. Um, oh, I didn't even notice the the hook. The hook hanger is like two fists punching, which is kind of cool. Like I said, it's nothing like amazing, but it's cute. And if you really like One Punch Man, it's good. <laughs> okay, we've got the pin. This one, I'll admit to being a little stumped. It's the monster box, and the pin is a cup of either tea or coffee. It looks like there might be something in the cup, so this might be a reference to like Tokyo Ghoul or something that I'm not getting. But again, I feel like this could be better portrayed, but whatever, you do you. Next up is a Tokyo Ghoul rubber bracelet. I will open it so you'll see past the glare. It's very cool. It says Tokyo Ghoul on it. I mean, it's pretty typical of like rubber bracelets you'd be able to get at like Hot Topic. Um, this does feel really nice quality, so not mad about it. I do feel like Aki Pento gives out a lot of these rubber bracelets, which is fine, but like it's also, I'm not gonna wear this many rubber bracelets. Ugh. Next up is Aki Pento exclusive face mask, and it is a face mask of a Titan, I guess, from Attack on Titan. Ooh, that smells bad. Do I look edgy yet? So I'll tell you, hear that? It smells bad and it is not the best quality. Um, obviously you see it's got kind of this satiny material, which is fine. Um, they use that a lot for like face masks and stuff. Um, the back is the same. It's just usually for these, I mean I guess this could be more a fashion statement, but Usually the ones that you actually get for when you're sick and stuff, they're a little thinner, so you can actually still breathe through them because it's hard to breathe through this. Yeah, like you still can, but it's not easy. I don't know, this could be um, something good for some people. You see my, my glasses are fogging up because there's nowhere for the air to go. But like if I was coughing into this, this would just get like gross. Uh, and if I'm using it for a fashion statement, it's getting very hot, as you can tell from my glasses fogging up. Ugh. I am not a fan of this at all. Um, it, despite the ugly, like, this is ugly too. I love Attack on Titan, but I don't really want this, like, skinless smile um, over my face. Um, I, but I, I understand that this is monster, but I feel like I feel like this could have been a better monster. Like, you could have done soul smile and have like the, the spiky teeth and I would have loved it, but I can't with that. Speaking of soul though, we've got a soul sticker. Looks super cute. I like that he doesn't have his headband. He's in his casual wear. I think it's adorable. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a big, it's a big sticker. It's made by the same company that did the Midoriya one, which I think is interesting because this one comes in like more official packaging and the Midoriya one was just in the bottom of the box. Um, but now I wonder if this one also costs $2.99. Don't know, we'll see. I don't know how we'll see. I don't know why I said we'll see. Is there anything? There's one other thing. Okay, so this is the last item and it is an Aki Bento exclusive umbrella. Um, it says, protect and show off your anime side with this custom Aki Beto exclusive umbrella. A travel umbrella that's small, easy to use, and gives good coverage against the rain. Well, first off, I'm gonna say, this isn't that small. But that's me being picky. I don't even know what this cover is. It looks like, I don't know, it looks like someone dying. Oh no, it's so, let's see. I don't wanna like open this, but pretty sure I'm gonna have to. So, eh. can you see it? It's the kid from Tokyo Ghoul with all his weird centipede monster arms. And that's it. Um, the inside, this is black. It's not automatic. It does have like a, a manual button that you have to push. Um, 
It also smells disgusting. I don't even know what it smells like, other than that I hate it. Let's see if I'll ever get it back in this little carry case. Because me thinks the answer is no. So I got it back in. It does not look anywhere near as nice. Um, I'm gonna show you a picture of the umbrella too, because maybe that'll help. See right there? That's what it looks like. Um, I think it's a cool idea, but I also think that this would have been, like I think it would have been cool to have a umbrella for the squad box and have like a bunch of characters walking around the edge of the umbrella. Does that make sense? Like whether it be Sailor Moon or My Hero Academia or even like Attack on Titan or whatever, instead of just a black and red umbrella with like a, a monster on it, like just an umbrella with like edging details that had either characters or character references. Um, but if you really, really like Tokyo Ghoul, this is a very unique product to have. So I can't fault them for that. Um, I guess it's just not really my jam. Just in the sense that I want cute umbrellas. But that's just me. I mean, I don't know what I'm expecting from a box called Monster, so. So next month's theme, which is November, is Fight, which I'm actually really excited for because it's My Hero Academia, Naruto, and One Piece. I'm not a big One Piece fan, but I'm obsessed with Naruto and My Hero Academia, so I'm hoping for some really good stuff. If you're interested in November's box, please use my link down in the description. Um, I would really appreciate it. Akibento does help out this channel a whole lot, um, and it helps out me when you use that link to order your box. And yeah, Akibento also has previous boxes for sale on their website as well as just general anime merch. So it's worth checking out even if you're not interested in the subscription service. That being said, my name is Fox. Thank you in advance for liking, commenting, subscribing, checking out my Patreon, checking out my merch, checking out my Instagram, for being patient with me while I suffer during the month of October or not, whatever. You do you, it's totally fine. And as always, Love you all very, 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 very much. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye, guys.